welcome back to apple tree allotment down here after a couple of weeks break we went away to uh, scotland up to the highlands of scotland for a week and a half and uh, had a nice holiday so we're coming down here to check on everything and uh, there's quite a lot to do today we all came down brought the kids down um so there's a lot lots to do today um i've also been to the garden center and I bought onions. Um, so I've got, um, got 50 electric onion sets. So these are good for early harvest, autumn planting. Um, so we're gonna sow them today. I'm gonna clear out this bed here that we had, had peas in it, but they didn't, didn't really come up. Um, so we're gonna clear this bed out, plant these onions in there, and uh, we're gonna put a fence around it to protect them because they got eaten last year um so we're gonna do that we also brought down some um compost so i'm gonna put a couple of bags of compost in that bed just to give it a bit more um a bit more sort of nutrients and things on the rest of the plot um the leeks doing really really well got some really big leeks here now um so we'll probably harvest a couple of those um, chard is doing very very well as well um, so we'll hopefully harvest some of that um, some really nice orange chard looking nice Halloweeny and some red so that's looking good uh, we've got lots of potatoes still so we're probably gonna harvest a bed of those probably um, some of the ones maybe this one in preparation for putting garlic in next week maybe the week after so we're going to do that and then the other big job we're going to do all the pumpkins and patty pans all the plants are dying off now i don't know if i don't think we've had frosts but they've definitely they've been killed off so uh, yep yeah, we're going to harvest all of those and uh, pull up the plants and uh, yeah we've got some some really nice pumpkins we've got probably four that are really big one good size and then quite a few other little ones um, and we've got some nice patty pans as well we've got four I think so uh, we'll harvest those and we'll uh, have them this week we've picked all our pumpkins so we've got some good uh, large ones we've got four good sized ones I think these ones were the Pudsey charity ones these orange ones um, definitely these sort of ones um, and there's a bit of a mix of um, some of the other varieties I'm not sure I'll have to look back what I planted um, but yeah there's a few different ones and there's this nice yellow one so yeah we've got got some really good pumpkins really pleased with them considering we planted some of them quite late just from seed they did really well picked our patty pans so these are um, the last of them and there's quite a few there actually there's this this big one I knew was growing um, that's a really nice size it's probably as big as I'd want them I should think that's a good one um, and then we've got four of this slightly smaller ones that's probably quite a nice size for them we did find the the yellow ones were nicer I think um, yeah we'll try and make a meal with them this week so next job I've cleared this pea bed so I've taken out a few a couple of little weeds and um, took all the canes out and everything um, I'm just going to spread on some compost so I've got this peat free B&Q compost um, so I'm just going to put a couple of bags of that on see how far it goes and uh, just to freshen it up a little bit it wasn't particularly great growing potatoes at this end this year I think this was just soil improver so hopefully it'll help and then we're going to sow, uh, we've got 50 onion sets to go in there. So I'll get the kids to help me sow all them. So we've spread out three bags of 50 litres of compost. So 150 litres and just giving it a good, no, good no. layer. Um, no and we've laid out 50 onion sets, red onion sets. Um, and it's done almost three quarters of the bed. So I'll probably go and buy some more sets no, in another week. We'll just fill in that bit there. 
We've settled all the onion sets in, so I've just put them three centimetres down in the soil. So they all got in and I've given them a quick water just because it had um, fresh um, compost on it that was a bit dry. So that's all in. Um, I'm just going to put a fence around it, so I'm going to get some more of that green netting and uh, put around it just to keep the mice and birds and things off. Just got the kids to harvest a few more leeks to go with our pumpkins and uh, other meals this week. Got a few good ones there. Still lots of, of nice big ones growing away. Um, they should last all winter really, so uh, we're just going to pull them as we need them. So that's most of the jobs done for today. Um, I cleared up a little bit of the, the pumpkin patch, the vines and the patty pan plants and just put them in the compost bin. Um, I'll do, do the rest next week. Got a few more this end to clear up. Um, it doesn't take too long, um, but that's all looking really good. Need to have a think about, especially this side, what I'm gonna do with it over winter. Um, maybe put some of the uh, green manure in these beds that had the pumpkins in. Um, other than that, maybe cover them up with cardboard and a bit of compost. Um, yeah, so I'll have a think about that this week. Um, and then next week, I'm planning to harvest some more of the potatoes. So we've got more beds up. Um, I think, I think definitely those four and the two across the back here have still got potatoes in. So, uh, Although we've still got half a box at home going from back in the summer, we'll uh, make room for the garlic by clearing probably those four out and that'll give us those those six beds um, for garlic. Um, yeah, so we'll probably do that next week or the week after. That's good. Got some, got our 50 onions in. I've got this little space at the end. So I might get some more onion sets to just to fill that space up. Um, which should be good. Beans did well. We got a bag full of beans today and the kids were eating them as they were picking them as well. Um, but yeah, the bean plants have done well. Still lots of little little bits on them. So maybe there'll be some more. We'll see. There's lots of lots of little bean shoots. It's still quite warm, so you never know. They might, might still get some more. Um, we harvested lots of leeks. So about five, six leeks, I think, today. Um, handful of potatoes just because they came out we picked that sunflower that was at the back to take home um, so we can enjoy it sort of in the house um, and when we pulled it up it came up with a load of potatoes so we uh, we took those as well um, all those pumpkins patty pans um, and some chard I might try freezing some of that chard um, just to keep keep being able to use it, it Tends, seems to wilt quite quickly when, once you've picked it, so uh, you do need to either use it fresh or preserve it straight away. But other than that, it's a really good crop, grows really well, and uh, looks nice through the winter. Um, and then I guess next year, sort of planning where I'm going to put my potatoes. I guess if the garlic and onions are this side, it's probably going to be over here. Um, but yeah, have a look at that another day. So I hope you enjoyed having a little wander around the plot today and uh, seeing all the lovely pumpkins finally get harvested. Did really well with them, really happy with what we got in the end. With all that dry weather in the, the summer, I didn't think they were going to do very well at one point. But uh, they turned out really good. Um, and we've got some more patty pans for dinner, so that's, that's welcome. Might, um, talking about mixing those up with the pumpkin to make a, a pie or a soup. Um, yeah, we'll see what we, we get to with that. So yeah, hope you're all keeping well and uh, look forward to talking to you next week. <laughs>